Hello, my friends! Have you ever felt like you're crashing to the earth in a fiery ball of fire? Well, that's kind of how my last week went. I actually got attacked by pirates again, and for the first time ever in this game, I actually saw a zero balance in my account. I was dumbfounded. I made mistakes, I did stupid things, and the pirates got the best of me. They actually got into my C2 when I was testing a new, where I switched out one of my guns with a distortion weapon and I was all excited to have pirates nearby. I just didn't account for the fact that I had not prepared the C2 to prevent ladder climbers. And uh, yeah, two pirates popped up and they got the best of me. They landed, they got onto my elevator pad and one of them stayed on the elevator pad while the other went to the cockpit. So no matter what I was going to do, they were going to get a hold of the cockpit. And once they got a hold of the cockpit, I was done. There was nothing, nothing I could do. I attempted to pay a small amount of the ransom they wanted, and they ended up taking it and killing me. So lesson learned, I got to find a new strategy, especially when it comes to the C2 Hercules. I'm not entirely sure if it will stay as my daily driver. But... The Vulture is now my daily driver, at least for the near future, and maybe some trade missions with the Freelancer. I've still got that. Now, not having any money to buy salvage contracts, I decided to just test going to Walla, and I went to a couple of places I know are a little bit more popular, and I actually found some salvage that I was able to uh, interact with and get some cargo. And this is how I've been rebuilding a little bit of money so that I can start maybe shipping gold in the Freelancer and I have started to fall even more in love with the Vulture. I am excited, I'm trying to figure out if there's better lasers for disassembling or uh, hull scraping, but I haven't found anything quite yet or I haven't tested anything yet. I've seen a couple of videos suggesting various things and I'm going to go test those, we'll probably talk about them in a future video. But here I am at Walla, and I found some crashed ships. And I was really excited about this because, you know, quite simply, I was able to take advantage of it. And I learned very quickly in the Mural Fury, I am not good even against an NPC. Holy crap, are my dogfighting skills trash. Look at how badly I'm, like, shaking around. I'm like, I cannot figure this out. I did somehow manage to avoid this guy in the sense that even with my shields down, he didn't shut me down. And I finally, finally took him down. This was a fight that took well over a half an hour. And yeah, it was really frustrating. And finally I landed the last, last needed shot. And I got one call to arms kill. So after half an hour, I made 500 credits. That made me a little bit mad. I was hoping I could get another one, but I think the spin out right here got so intense that the ship blew up without it registering me as killing it. And I was like, ah, no, there had to have been two people because there was the turret was firing as well as the main controllers. That was an annoying NPC to go through. Yeah, so there's the Mural Fury. I couldn't get it repaired because of whatever bug it causes you to not be able to access the repair menu within Star Citizen, and that's not a terrible thing. I just decided to leave the Mural Fury there, and I figure I would reclaim it somewhere else. It takes a minute and 15 seconds to claim it to any given spot, but I had all sorts of debris all over this place, and I was able to take advantage of some of this debris. Now, as you can see, you're not allowed to hull scrape inside an armistice zone. I'm going to show you at the end of the video how you can kind of get away with hull scraping within an armistice zone. And it's a little tricky. Not really. It's, it's really simple. I was really pleased with the fact that there was a vulture here that had been crashed some time ago just outside of the armistice zone of this, uh, I think it's 056 that I'm on, on Walla. And yeah, this was a great uh, scrape. I was able to obtain a really decent amount of salvage from this. I could have gone longer, but 
there was problems. And this little segment I'm going to show you just because it uh, this is kind of ever so gently the quickest I could get out of the seat, go move two units of cargo, and get back into the seat. It takes approximately a minute, maybe just a hair longer or a little bit shorter, but I'll, I'll cut to later on when I have a little bit more cargo and I'll show you the problem that happened and we'll see what we can do. So far, in my attempts to try to fill the vulture, I have not gotten even the 12 units of cargo that are standard. I think uh, we tested in a previous video that we could put some cargo in the pathway to the door and just max out the, f the s room, basically. I'm going to try to do that in the future. I don't know how that's going to work. There are some indicators that some bugs might happen when you have too much stuff on the sides of the aircraft rather than... But we'll work on it. So you can see it took about a minute for me to jump out of the seat, go move cargo. I didn't really have to level out the ship. I was just thinking funny at the time. I should have just left it faced exactly where I was. That way I could just keep going. The venture I have here for this video lasted quite a while and I was pretty pleased with it. Like, I was able to rack up a decent amount of cargo. Well, scrap cargo. So check it out here. This is a little bit later down the road. I'm almost full. I'm pulling out, uh, let's see here. That's uh, say eight, I think. That's number eight. And out comes number nine. I had one piece of cargo fall through the ship, and I had to land the ship and pick it up. And it made it for an odd number because I ended up filling up the ship, or filling up the two spots, and then moving on, I, yeah, I had an odd number. And then out of nowhere, this happened. I'm like, why am I not getting any, oh, 30k, <gasps> the dreaded 30k. Well, okay, we're going to have to accept that. Here's what I did. I went back into the game, I waited, I think I waited about five minutes or so, and I went back into the game, and this was one of the longest loading screens I have had in a while. I cut out most of it because it was approximately five to seven minutes of loading screen, and finally my character showed up here. Yes, I, this is where I'd started earlier this filming session, so it brought me back to Bajini Point. Not a bad thing. I also typically keep Bajini Point as my personal respawn point because I don't like having to leave the atmosphere every time, so I brought all my ships up here, and I interact with Area 18 when I need to, and then I typically get off Area 18 to Bajini Point. It's just a little personal thing. I don't suggest it for anybody, but I don't say that you shouldn't do it. Welcome. It's how much you want to get into the gameplay. Now you can see my vulture was stored. Let's take a look at this. A little bit longer. If you look at it, my vulture is stored in area 18. So it's the second line. Sorry, the text is covering things. So let's take out the Aurora MR and just quickly zip on down to the planet and go check to see if the vulture... I have not seen the vulture yet since I logged in, so I don't know if I have my cargo, my salvage at all. After a grueling five minutes of traveling to Area 18, I finally was able to land, and beautiful landing. Oh, pristine, touch down like a feather, beautiful. Anyway, let's go check out the vulture and see if there's anything in it. Quickly. I don't know why I haven't turned off the chat. But that's just because I was in a frantic heap trying to get back to the vulture because I wanted to see if I actually wasted an hour of my time or not. Yeah. Oh, elevators take forever when you're suffering. Yeah, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Check out the vulture. The cool thing is, the vulture will actually show up 
it seems like if you land a ship and then you trade out that ship, it will use the same hangar unless the hangar is too small. The vulture's here! I don't even have to claim it. Yay! That's good. To, that's a good sign. That is a really good sign. Okay, we've got the tense moments here. Is there going to be anything in the back? Now, if there is anything in the back, that means that CIG is actually succeeding at kind of making it a little li less stressful for 30Ks to happen. That doesn't exactly mean the heat is not off of CIG to prevent 30Ks from happening, but at least people aren't losing as much money. I mean, I've lost nearly 30 million in 30Ks. And we have cargo! This is awesome! Ooh, that's nine cargo right there. I'm just gonna go sell it right now. That's, oh, that's gonna help us so much. Check it out. Now, I already have done a couple of scrapes. You can see I have 132K, and we just added, oh, come on, 69K more to the quantity of money that I have. It's terribly awesome. I love the, I, I love this game. But it is hard to be stuck at the low ends of monies. Like, you don't want to buy anything, you don't want to upgrade anything, and it's just, ah. Uh... Now, let's go over to Walla again. And I couldn't find a wrecked ship inside the Armistice Zone, but there was a ship landed here, so we can actually show you one, a couple of things. Now, this ship right here is not only landed, but this guy is still active on his shields. That means that there's nothing I can do. I will not be able to scrape the hull. So you can see that his that this eclipse was... Uh, his, his shields are definitely still active. But if I just back up, just outside of the armistice zone, and we get that little gun or bullet thing to disappear... I can activate the scrape lasers. Truthfully, I don't know how long CIG is going to let this happen, but I can activate them, and it's really hard to see on the white of Walla, the light gray color of the moon Walla, but you can kind of see them as we start to get over the eclipse. The lasers are activated inside the armistice zone, and I would theoretically be able to scrape the hull of this craft. Now, because it's shielded, there's nothing. I can't get anything off this hull. But, I wanted to show you that I have done this a couple of times already, and again, I don't know how long it will be before CIG decides that this is not cool, and that they remove it as an option from the game. I do think that it would be really awesome if CIG allowed hull scraping for wrecked ships inside Armistice Zones, because we could help clean up the ships. Although there's still like a derelict left and I don't know how we would clean those up but guys the vulture is pretty darn awesome and it's getting even more awesome the more I get to use it I wanted to show this off to you and yeah I've gone from riches to rags but I can rebuild that's all I got for you have a wonderful day bye bye